Good morning. Good morning. It is really cool to chat with you because I love this show. Oh, really? Uh, it is one of the greatest things I've seen on TV in a while, especially, oh. you know, considering the heritage, you had a lot to, to play off of. Yeah. What was it like jumping into the role? Did you have things you did to prepare, or how did you get into the role of Anne? I guess it was mainly the accent. I mean, I already had a good enough American accent, so I just kind of had to get in those stories and the, what is it, a boots? <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> since I've done it, but something like that. But um, no, that was kind of it, and I uh, had a couple of rehearsals, but I mean, it was mainly just really getting into it and just kind of really going for it immediately, and I, I felt very much like Anne as soon as I put the costume on, I was ready to go. <laughs> Do you... Do you feel like, obviously, there's a certain amount of the the location that lends itself and the, and the setting that lends itself to, or how did that play a part in playing the role? I mean, absolutely. Our, our very, very first day of shooting, we shot PEI, which was so amazing for that to be the very first day. I was very thankful that that was the first day to shoot, um, to kind of see Anne's homeland and what she really does see every day, and to kind of carry those landscapes with me for future scenes where I'm looking out a window to a green screen, but it has to be a beautiful landscape. So it was amazing, and it was, it was with um, RH and the buggy. So it's a lot of lines as well, but it was fun. It, it's, it's such a free-flowing script, though, that it sounds so natural. Yeah. Y you sound so much like what we come to think of as Anne, I guess. <laughs> Did you, you know, did you get notes on that? Did, they, did you just jump into it and they were like, that's it? I guess it was kind of both. I mean, in the audition process, I, I really got quite a few notes on kind of like different ways to do things hmm. and to not kind of get stuck on one way to do a scene, just to kind of change it up every so often, um, to kind of emphasize different words, for instance, and that makes a huge, huge difference. Um, so you don't kind of get stuck in a routine and it gets kind of mm. boring. But no, Moira's writing is just so natural. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I was reading where I go, I've said that in my day-to-day -day life. And it was perfect because I was thinking that's very relatable to me. Um, so, I mean, because her writing's so good, it was just so easy. It's, it's a beautiful story. The first episode is so... Uh, it's... It's so attractive to the location mm -hmm. that you really get a sense of falling into Green Gables and how she, she feels at home, and, and yet the changes, the darker tone that the, the story has taken. What was it like playing that side of it? I think sometimes it was a little tricky, just because I can relate with Anne on a lot of the scenes that we do, but of course those darker scenes, I mean, I've never experienced anything like that. So to kind of do the scenes where she is being very much abused or mistreated and just really hurt emotionally, physically, all that, and I think I really did have to put myself into her shoes for that, which mm. I think took some time. I mean, after we finished filming, I, I would have to take a second to really come out of that, and I think you don't really come out of it till the next day, so mm. it was it was really interesting for me to really go through that for the first time for me, um, but it seemed to turn out not too bad. It, it's incredible, yeah. It's <laughs> It's... It reinvigorates the story as well, in a sense, because you get the sense of her, her anguish. I guess you Absolutely, could say. That's a really good word to use. It, it grounds her immensely. Yes. Did you, I mean, <clears throat> did you imagine a lot of what it took for her to get that point in acting in in this role? I guess a little bit. I mean, yeah. Like, well, like, were you, you know, sometimes there's stuff that's not on the page for the script, you yes. know, that you're kind of building in your own backstory. Did of you course. have a lot of that? Um, yeah, a little bit. I think it was more into myself, in a sense. Right. I was just kind of going through it myself. It wasn't really discussed with many people, and anything that I really wanted to know and was really questioning that would make a big difference, I would immediately just go to Moira, and we'd have a really, really full discussion about why I would put a teacup down at one place in the scene, which might seem very little, but to me it made a very big difference. Right. So it was great to have her there for support. So what was it like working with her? Because oh. her, her, she seems incredible and her story is incredible. Oh, yeah. yeah. She is just amazing. I, I, I can never fully express my admiration for her just because she's so amazing. Her, her writing ability and just mm. her personality in general and just the way she loves what she does so much. I mean, to go from Breaking Bad to Anne of Green Gables with such ease, like, it, it's just talent, pure talent. It's amazing. Did you, did you feel like there was something 
I guess it's hard. Did you watch the original series first? Did I you... didn't, no. I, I mean, I read the books when I was nine years old for my birthday, actually. Um, but I never um, saw the TV series. But it wasn't really intentional or unintentional. It was just right. kind of... I wanted my own portrayal of her to come from me and Moira, and I didn't really want it to be affected by anything else. Right. So it's just kind of the way it worked out. Do you think there was something in particular after reading the books that Moira brought to the story that you you can really see what she's done there? Would you say there's something I think definitely. You recognize? I mean, even the darker sides of things, like you said, and reading in between the lines as well. And there's going to be new storylines for some of the characters. They go more in depth to them, which I think they deserve. I think it gives a more kind of rounded feeling to the characters as well, which would be nice. Um, and it, it really gives you a feeling for what they've gone through as well, not mm. just Anne. So that's going to be interesting. Well, I'll, I'd love to know where, what can you hint at that's coming in this first season? Hmm. I, I see Art Gilbert sport. plays some some part in oh, this first yeah. season. <laughs> there's been, there's gonna be some slate smashing. You've seen that in the trailer, so I can't <laughs> say that. So there there's gonna be some good slate smashing. Um, what else can I hint at? That's not a spoiler. Oh God, that's hard. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Um, <laughs> no, there is definitely a much darker side to things, but I think it's still it's still very true to the story, which is nice. That it's kind of it's all rounded up, and I mean Moira and myself and the whole team, we really respect the book, so. Cool. Oh, that's good. Well, thank you very much for the thank time. Thank you. Can't wait to see more.